Okay, hi Virgos, welcome back to my channel. Guys, if you're new here, welcome. And if you are returning, thank you so much for supporting the channel. So we're going to go ahead and get a message from your ancestors and your angels. Let's see what the energy is like today. Now this is a general message, Virgos. So just take the parts that resonate for you and leave the rest. Anybody interested in a personal reading, my information is always down below. Thanks to those who do reach out for those. And thanks to those who donate to the channel. And to those of you who do subscribe. It's very much appreciated. So I do hope that everybody is well, okay? All right, Spirit, what do we have for the Virgos? Sun, Moon, Rising, North Node and Venus. What is the message here for the collective? Thank you, Spirit. Archangel Michael, how do you want to open this reading? All right. So at the bottom of the deck, you do have have confidence. It says Archangel Michael. Please lend me your courage and fortitude. It says, help me realize that I am one with all that is divine, wisdom, strength, love, creativity, abundance, and health. It says, allow me to feel confident and peaceful about myself in all ways. Now, the card that you have coming out, it says, lean on God and the angels for support. It says, dear God and angels, I give you this. And it says, briefly describe the situation. It says now and completely. It says, I step out of the way and allow divine miracles to shine through everyone and everything involved. Okay. What's the energy here? What is the message from their ancestors and their angels? One more shuffle. So we have abundance at the bottom of the deck. But you see you have let go and then you have if you believe. So give me a card for now and a card for going forward. Thank you, Spirit. What is the message here? Okay, someone here, you may be improving your health or maybe someone here is getting over some sort of sickness with improving your health. Now, the improving health doesn't necessarily um, have to be something physical because it is giving me an energy of almost like self-love, right? So some of you, you may just be making better choices for yourself here. But give me a card for going forward. Thank you. So it's almost coming in the reverse, but I don't take these in the reverse, but I do pay attention. OK, so going forward, we have helpful people. But like I said, it's going in. the It's in the reverse. So maybe going forward, there is some of my Virgos here where there may be people, um, you know, that maybe you have to let go of. Right. Maybe you are seeing that these people don't necessarily have your best interests at heart, okay? And for some of you, it's also giving me this energy where going forward, for some of you, you know, letting go of these people is because where you're going, it's that energy they almost can't come, right? But I'll put it in the upright for now. Now, the first card that came out, it says within the next few months. In fact, I'll, I'll keep it in the reverse, <laughs> All right, what is this energy for my Virgos? Within the next few months, So, yeah, I'm seeing the Ace of Water and I'm seeing the Justice card. So, again, that energy of the Ace of Cups, it can have to do with, you know, maybe something to do with a relationship. But like what I was, what I was saying, the more energy that I was get, getting with the other card is that this is about self-love. Some of you could be moving, right? This could be an energy of relocation. But it's also that energy where for some of you, it, like it says, you know, you've had some sort of either some sort of awakening or you've improved your relationship 
um, with the most high or you've been working on that kind of spiritual side of you. I'm hearing for some of you embracing it more. So again, that energy of maybe learning to trust and believe in your intuition. Within the next few months, why is this here for Virgo? Yeah, some of it goes, you know, you, you may be coming from a place where you was at some sort of a crossroads. And maybe some of you have been spending time alone and maybe you have been receiving some sort of downloads or messages or you've just been paying attention to the signs that the universe has been trying to send you. And it's almost like I'm hearing for someone here, it's all making sense. What's within the next few months? Thank you, Spirit. So we have a Queen of Water coming out here, which is Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. You could be dealing with that sign or you may have water heavy in your chart here. But the Queen of Water is a very loving, nurturing, caring energy. It talks about you, like I was saying, developing relationships, right? Getting to that point where you are being more open, where you're more willing to let love in. It says relationships develop to a new level. It says trust your intuition. It says care for yourself and others. Show me more about this Queen of Water energy. We have the lovers coming out, which is Gemini energy. Now, for some of my Virgos, you may be wondering about relationships and romance and maybe if you are going to meet somebody. And for some of you, maybe you are in a situation where you're like, hey, is this going to get any better for me? Is it serving me? It says intimate relationships. It says carefully weigh your decisions. It says good health. Now, there may be a Virgo here where... With that two of swords energy, energy, that kind of stalemate that I saw, right? You may have a decision here between two. I feel like spirit is saying to you, if that is the case, you need to kind of, it's that energy of, you know, weighing the pros and the cons almost. And for others of you, it's about thinking about your health. You know, does this situation make you happy? You know, do you feel fulfilled there? Or, or do you feel like somewhere inside of you that you desire more? We have a queen of fire at the bottom of the deck and then we have the three of cups. So again, some of you, you may be trying to make some sort of choice between two people. Now for someone here, okay, let's see what else comes out. Yeah, but it's, it's, it kind of feels like what I just said, right? Because you got the Queen of Fire, you got the Three of Cups, which can talk about a third party situation. But it can also, you know, that energy of, you know, maybe for some of you stepping back into that energy of confidence here, you know, and not being afraid to go out there and just have fun, right? Because this does talk about celebrations. It talks about a wedding. It can talk about the announcement of a birth here. But it does talk about... um having fun, the Three of Cups. you got the Ace of Fire with the Sun card, the Two of Air. So I still, I'm still getting that energy where someone here may feel stuck here about making some sort of choice. Star card, the Nine of Water, the Moon and the Ten of Fire. Hmm. Okay. What's within the next few months? What are we getting stuck on? The four of air. For others of my Virgos, make sure you're not working yourself into the ground, okay? It's almost like even at the beginning, I was kind of feeling like, you know, make sure that you're making proper time to eat properly. And it's not just all work, work, work. Because for some of you with this four of swords, it's showing me that some of you need to take a break. This could be taking a vacation, because I'm seeing someone here who is, like I said, maybe overworking themselves. And for others of you, you know, don't be afraid to take out some time here 
especially if, like I was saying, if you have some sort of choice to make here, don't feel like, I almost want to say, you know, take your time in making that choice, okay? Just make sure you're doing the right thing for you. Again, you know, the Four of Swords can talk about maybe you have been receiving some sort of messages, maybe in dreams or something like that. Pay attention to those things. Yeah, we have the Awakening. Now, the Awakening is a number 12 and it boils down to a number 3 and that can talk about having foresight, right? Or seeing the bigger picture of a situation. But it can also, again, talk about for some of you where you have been waiting for something to come in. Now, the Awakening card says, look at things from a different perspective. It says a temporary standstill. It says it's important to be yourself. Make sure you are not allowing ego and pride to get in the way of a situation as well. What was that? All right, what is this lovers? Thank you, spirit. What is the lovers energy? The four of fire. Some of you, I feel like if you're not trying to make a decision about relocation or where maybe you want to plant some roots or maybe some of you are looking for a home. Um, for some of you, you may be questioning a marriage or uh, maybe a long term relationship. Right. You have the four of fire and it does talk about stability, but it also talks about in this deck contentment, peace and abundance. It talks about a happy home life. It says the successful completion of a project. So for some of you, you know, you may even be going on to get married, right? Maybe you're going to be coming into a very solid um, relationship here that maybe leads to marriage for some of you. But it, I almost want to say it overall feels healing. Give me one more card for this. Okay, what was it? I'm going to put it back, but I will show you what it is. Um, I did pick it up in the reverse, okay? And in the upright, it says release. And interesting, it's a number 13, which boils down to a four. So it says the end of a phase or situation. It says spiritual transformation. It says time to move on. Uh, with it coming in the reverse, some of you, you're not letting go of something um, I feel like you're not letting go of something or someone that maybe I almost want to say maybe blocking your blessings. Wheel of Fortune at the bottom of the deck with the Hermit, Three of Pentacles, the Three of Air, King of Air, and the Nine of Air. Damn. Give me, <laughs> give me one card. Yeah, the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups with that Queen of Cups makes the Ten of Cups. So again, this may have something to do with family. It may have something to do with someone you have a family with. But again, there's this energy here where, you know, for some of my Virgos, your wishes are coming true. This is emotional fulfillment. The Nine of Cups on its own says your wishes come true. It says concerns fade away. It says a love of a life. Give me one more for this Nine of Cups. Five of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Oh, actually, don't give me one for the Nine of Cups, Spirit. Well, what is the blockage here? The Five of Cups. <laughs> Disappointment. Some of you, you still holding on to maybe something from the past that didn't work out for you. It says things not turning out the way you'd hoped. It says not seeing the positive in a situation. It says crying over spilt milk. Okay, now what is the advice here for the Virgos? Five of Pentacles. So some of my Virgos... Five of Pentacles is an energy of feeling left out in the cold. Now, you may have some fears around finances as well for someone. Or maybe someone here is worried about a business. Or they're just their employment full stop. 
But it says the wisdom to accept help from others. So give me one on this five of pentacles. King of pentacles, your energy. And this now makes the six of pentacles. So I am getting an energy here of, you know, maybe balance coming in. But the six of pentacles energy is also an energy of giving and receiving. So the energy you put out is the energy that you're going to get back here. Give me one more on the five of pentacles and the king of pentacles. Or someone may need your help, Virgos. Three of fire. And there's that king of air again. So this could be about speaking up for some of you. Right? Maybe some of you, male or female, maybe you are in your emotions about something. But the king of air says, speak your mind with confidence. It says seek out professional advice. It says balance mental and emotional considerations. So it's almost that energy where spirit feels like it, they're saying, you know, there is help out there for you. You know, like I said before, put your ego and pride behind you. And maybe, you, like I said, you want to reach out to someone or someone wants to reach out to you. But there is a solution here. What is the helpful people in the reverse? Why did that come out in the reverse? Night of fire in the reverse. So someone here could have been dealing with maybe a younger fire sign with the night of fire, right? Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. But in the upright, it talks about a sudden event that needs immediate attention. It says time is of the essence. It says think things through carefully. Maybe somebody didn't think things through carefully. Maybe someone did something in a haste here and maybe now they regret it. Show me more about this Knight of Wands with the helpful people in the reverse. <laughs> you, okay, masculine energy. Got the King of Pentacles flying out here again. Maybe you thought something was going to be successful, okay? Um... Maybe you tried to help somebody in a situation and it, and it didn't turn out the way you maybe thought. What is this Knight of Wands in the reverse? Ace of Air, Unity. Yeah, something may have to do with a fire sign. Because I'm seeing the King of Fire here. Nine of Pentacles, which is your energy here, Virgos. The Two of Pentacles. Unity. Hmm. All right. Show me more. Yeah, there's that six of pentacles energy that I was talking about. So again, I don't know if this is about a business deal. I don't know if this was about some sort of exchange of finances, right? Um, but in this deck, the six of pentacles says gifts of money, time or effort. It says new career opportunities, receiving a loan. It says paying off debts. Yeah, I feel like this is about maybe something that someone invested in. Chariot. Yeah, eight of pentacles, the emperor. But it's almost like whatever this is that someone invested in, it has caused them some sort of burdens here. So I don't know if someone here is receiving karma for something, okay? What is this king of earth? The nine of pentacles. And it's interesting because now this is going to sit underneath the king of pentacles. And I feel like in one of the videos I did yesterday, I don't know which sign it was, but the nine of pentacles and the king of pentacles makes the ten of pentacles energy. We all know that the Nine of Pentacles in the traditional tarot, like I said, is your energy, Virgos, is someone who is very independent, successful, um, you know, self-assured, right? It says enjoying life's little luxuries. It says spending quiet time alone. It says successful self-employment. What is the Knight of Wands and the Six of Coins? The Eight of Swords and the Ace of Swords. That makes the Nine of Swords here, Virgos. 
Someone here is really worried about something. They're in their head here. This is like a mental entrapment. It's almost like someone has an idea, but they feel like there's some sort of obstacle or blockage here. But the Eight of Swords is an energy of an illusion of being trapped. This is someone who has a lack of self-confidence to take some sort of action or to speak up for themselves. This is someone, I don't know. But you see, if okay, just one card. Thank you. The Sun. Leo Energy. But you see, something here will be a happy outcome. This is brilliant new ideas that lead to success. It says have confidence in yourself. It's almost like the ancestors and the angels are trying to assist someone here. They're trying to help you through whatever that mental blockage is. Two of swords again. Being unable or unwilling to make a decision, a stalemate, pretending there's no problem. <laughs> the Ten of Air. And we have the Queen of Pentacles. Alright, what is the King of Pentacles or the Nine of Pentacles? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, I feel like they're trying to show me a lot here. I feel like this is an energy of, hey, someone, no more procrastination. Nine of Wands, a Six of Water. Someone here maybe needs to find the courage to walk away from something from the past here. Okay. Uh, so let's see what came out. The Magician. <laughs> What is the King of Pentacles and the Nine of Pentacles? Someone here has an opportunity to really create, I feel like, something big, right? Because when you read the King of Pentacles, it says a successful time, confidently accept opportunities you're offered. It says the mightiest touch. Now, to me, having the mightiest touch, okay, is about being the magician. It is about spirit saying to you, hey, listen, you're in a very good place to manifest something here we're trying to offer you some sort of opportunity here that may definitely if for some of you like i said if this is about your finances this will definitely bring in some sort of balance but it's about following the guidance the magician and the magician does represent virgo and gemini energy it says you are ready it says you have the resources or the ability to manifest them. It says life is magical. It's almost like I want to say to someone, grab it by the horns. It's almost like they're showing me the chariot. That energy of be the leader of your own destiny kind of thing. One more card. What do we have for Virgo? Page of Earth. Okay. Page of Earth and the Star card. Man, what did I say? It says good news about financial matters. It says wanting to do something more challenging. It says a new area of study. But to me, the Page of Pentacles can also talk about you making practical decisions here. You got the Star card, which is a number 17, which boils down to an 8. OK, and it's kind of giving me like the eight of wands, but it's, I'm also seeing the eight of swords here. So, again, choices. It says happy times. It says make positive, optimistic, long term plans. It says on the right path. So what else do we have for Virgos? Thank you, spirit. Give me three cards. Yeah, see, the card that wanted to fall out was debt paid off. So I could take this two ways, okay? Like I said, I, sorry if I sound like I'm repeating myself here, Virgos, okay? But for some of you, if you're worried about your finances, 
like I said, spirit says going forward here, you taking some sort of action here or making some sort of choice, there is definitely some sort of improvement, okay, going forward here. But like I said, for some of you, maybe you have people around you or maybe there is something else around you that you need to release. And for others of you, if you are worried maybe about, I almost want to say for someone here, if you're worried about some sort of karmic debt, maybe spirit is saying to you, hey, listen, don't worry about that, right? Maybe you're paying off your karmic debt and spirit is offering you something new. Don't be afraid not to take it. Look at that on the other side. It says, goodbye to the old and hello to the new. It says, you finish one part of your life and now a new and even better part is beginning. And then it says, the old way of habit of debt is lifted from you and your life. Just three cards. What do my Virgos need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Oh, okay. Marriage at the bottom of the deck, Virgos. It says the fairies join you in celebration, wedding bliss. Uh, but right behind it, <laughs> right behind it, Virgos, it says admit your true feelings to yourself. It says be honest with yourself. Only you know what is only you know what it is that you truly desire. Yeah, and then we have let go, and then we have love life. Okay. So we have perfect timing. It says this is the right time for you to move forward. The debt paid off came out again. So again, the old weight and habit of debt is lifted from you and your life. Coming out sideways though. Hmm which could be a blockage. Like I said, it's going to be different for people about what is making this decision difficult for you, okay? For some of you, it may be children. But you have daughter. It says the answers to your question involves your daughter. You have do some research. It says you need more information about this situation. It says look into it further before proceeding. And then you have assertiveness. It says stand up for your beliefs and only say yes if you really want to. So for some of you, you know, maybe there is some sort of boundaries that maybe you need to put up around maybe someone you have children with, especially if this is a daughter that you have with this person. OK, um, don't allow anybody. I, I, you know, it's easy to say, you know, but sometimes when it comes to our children, you know, we can kind of, you know, it's that energy of melting a little bit. Right. But I almost want to say, don't let anybody kind of emotionally blackmail you. Oh, I didn't mean to say blackmail. So I don't know. <laughs> OK, I was meant to say that came out so smooth as well. <laughs> uh, I was meant to say emotionally manipulate you. But maybe someone here is being blackmailed when it comes to children. I don't know. Now, spirit, show me a little bit about going forward. For my Virgos, I want to say that find the inner strength to take some sort of action here. Give me three cards for going forward. Okay. We have happy family. So number four again. We have rest and rejuvenation, Virgos. Okay, so again, make sure you're getting in that rest. It's not all just about action, action, action. Okay, some of you are tiring yourself out. They're showing me the nine of wands, which is that energy of the wounded warrior. Going forward, thank you, spirit. The journey card. But you see, the journey card is an energy of making decisions. But I almost look at the card and she's on the bridge. She's got her bags with her, but she is looking back almost like that energy where we saw, you know, goodbye to the old and hello to the new. I don't know. They're playing that Queen Niger song, Pack Light. 
<laughs> so I don't know, maybe some of you are going to be just leaving with, you know, maybe a handful of stuff or maybe it's that real energy of, you know, what I'm actually really starting fresh. Um, daughter romance at the bottom of the deck with appreciation. Spirit, give me a card for those. What is the, what is the risk here of staying stuck? Kind of a little bit scared to ask. <laughs> what is the risk of staying stuck? So we have community. What I say about people and friends and, you know, things that you have around you or people around you, friend groups, family. Um, it is a number seven and the seven does talk about warnings here. Okay. So we also have Blossom in Abundance. And show me what's the last one. Adjacent Possibilities. I feel like what they're trying to show me here is basically what I said about these people or whatever blocking your blessings here. Because blossom in abundance and, it, and it's almost like for some of you these people are not only keeping you stuck when it comes to romance and new love and maybe even just nurturing yourself here right but it's almost like they are blocking some sort of success because adjacent possibilities to me means that you have um going forward many doors that are going to be open to you Yeah, I'm seeing. Okay. Yeah. I just saw anxiety, but I also saw it with contract. And then I'm seeing it with victory. Give me a card for my Virgos. Thank you, Spirit. And one more. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, we do have release your cares to God. It says, oh, that I had wings like a dove, then I would fly away and rest. Maybe some of you feel like you have too much responsibilities where you are. But balance is everything. So, you have see everything through the eyes of love. It says love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful or proud or rude. It says it does not demand its own way. And then you have celebrate the gift. I mean, celebrate the beautiful gift of life. It says, let the heavens be glad and the earth rejoice. It says, let the sea and everything in it shout his praise. Uh, again, you know, like I said, some, something here may have something to do with children, okay? So, Archangel Michael, close out this for my Virgos. And one more. Thank you. Bottom of the deck, we do have, again, be honest with yourself. And it's a number five, so someone here needs to be honest about the changes that they want to make in their life here, okay? Um, but it says, all your feelings, even the difficult ones, have a message for you. It says, accept your truth, then let source take it from there. So the first one coming out here is a number 23, which again boils down to a five, okay? Um... It says pray from the heart. It says prayer really can move mountains. It says reach out to the divine with your heart's concerns and watch miracles unfold. So don't be afraid to pray. Um, don't be afraid. I almost want to say to say affirmations. Um, but, you know, it's all there's I'm also getting this energy here, Virgo, as well, where there's no point in praying for something. And then when it kind of comes your way, you're like, mm, I don't know if I want to kind of accept it. It's almost like sending mixed signals, okay? So you have a number 26, which boils down to an eight. Again, they give me the eight of one. So this definitely could is about messages. Like I was saying, someone here may be getting some sort of downloads, okay? And it could be via dreams, angel numbers, 
um, whatever. It says, recognize the signs from above. It says, angels are sending you messages now, but you're too distracted to notice. Yeah. It says, stay alert and open to divine guidance. Like I said, for some of you, you've got too much going on around you. You may be missing the signs here, right? Rest and rejuvenation is very important here. It's almost that energy, you know, when they say, when you become still and quiet is when you will hear God's voice. So, Virgos, that is the energy that I've picked up here today. I do hope that something has resonated with you. If it did, I do ask that you hit the thumbs up for me. Okay, subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. But if this is where we part, Virgos, stay safe. Love and light, guys.